Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please join me in welcoming Father Robert Boxy, a member of our board and the priest chaplain at the Howard University. Father Boxy. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Loving and merciful Father, author of life and source of every good thing, we lift up our hearts in gratitude for the blessing of this day, a day which you have allowed us to gather together as a community to celebrate the opening of the Lorraine Science and Innovation Center. I am so excited uh, to be here with you today. Uh, my name is John Barnhart. I'm the president and CEO of Bishop McNamara High School, and this is the fourth of four different celebrations, perhaps the most important one, as we do the ribbon cutting for our new Science and Innovation Center. My name is Nyla Davis, and I am the executive president at Bishop McNamara High School. The new Lorraine Science and Innovation Center is going to take our school and community to the next level. Great things are going to occur, occur in those labs, and Mustangs will be leading the way. Thank you. And so when I look at the opening of the, of the Lorraine Science Center and, and I saw the numbers, it's a 20,000 square foot facility with seven classrooms, um, five of them science labs, featuring two chemistry labs and two physics labs, cybersecurity labs, multimedia studio, entrepreneurial space, state-of-the-art innovation labs. So thank you all for all that you've done for my daughter and my family. May God bless you all. I moved to Prince George's County when Lorraine was still Lorraine. And I lived right across the street from Lorraine. And uh, I didn't know people like Steve and Diane, and I'd never met Dr. Clark or Principal Carter. But I knew that there was a, an asset in Prince George's County. And I hadn't heard of Bishop McNamara High School then. But over time, I learned of what I now call a beacon of light on Marlboro Pike. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming uh, out this, this lovely morning to celebrate the ribbon cutting of the Lorraine Science and Innovation Center. Uh, for a lot of us, this is day, John mentioned earlier, this is kind of day four or three with, uh, with this uh, announcement and, and opening. So uh, again, we appreciate you coming out. When you teach your students to think and live as Christ would and meet the needs of those less fortunate, it sets a standard that even those who may not believe, as you do, still admire. That's why educating hearts and minds stand strong as a pillar. Strong, productive citizens like the ones you're building up here bring hope to the world. You're not only helping to raise the leaders of the next generation, you're molding leaders who also have the humility to be servants to others. Today we ask God's blessing on this center of seeking, learning, and teaching what is true. We thank God for the many generous benefactors whose contributions have made the construction of this new building possible. We ask that those entrusted with the education of young people in the Lorraine Science and Innovation Center may teach their students how to join the discoveries of human wisdom with the truth of the gospel. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. God bless Bishop Magna. Science innovation.